moderate or conservative who represents the indian muslim javed akhtar celebrated and renowned script writer and commentator asad ashraf renowned journalist regular contributor to national and international publications and networks let's begin with the recent hab- happenings in afghanistan and comments thereof javed saab your tweet on august 24th chastening the muslim personal law board rather exhorting it to come clean on the taliban after one of its prominent members a cleric had welcomed afghanistan's takeover by the taliban after the us moved out why do you think it is the onus of the mplb to condemn this should indians as a whole or muslims in particular have condemned what the taliban stands for so more often than not uh, mplb has uh, uh, presented itself and committed that they represent the religious interest of uh, muslims and many uh, time they have uh, uh, spoken about different issues uh, about certain laws of the country and they have approved or disapproved certain laws and so they are important and uh, they are uh, they were on the front uh, 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 while they were trying to defend uh, teen talaq and so on so they were a major voice in that matter Uh, so if their spokesperson if their member of the board gives uh, this kind of a statement which approves and appreciates and lauds uh, uh, afghan taken over by take over by um, taliban so obviously one would be shocked and surprised i mean to ask who is the voice or which is the voice is uh, thinking that uh, the community is a monolith of course no community including muslim community in india is a monolith there are different voices and uh, muslim personal voice uh, maybe i don't appreciate that but the fact remains that it is an important voice and uh, it matters and it is picked up by the media and uh, the politicians and so on and quite often their statements are used against the whole community so one would react to that that you have been openly critical of mm-hmm. javed mm-hmm. sahab's mm-hmm. response on the issue Mm-hmm. Javed Sahab's response to those among the Hindu far right mm-hmm. who have not just resented but also threatened him in so mm-hmm. many words for equating their ideal or goal or mm-hmm. vision with that mm-hmm. of the Taliban. Do mm-hmm. you not find merit in that comparison? And why should not Javed Akhtar, in a bid mm-hmm. to widen the rational mean, mm-hmm. expose the extremes from both or all sides? Yeah, I mean that's absolutely all right to co- to make such comparisons, and I think uh, no one, no sane uh, thinking Muslim or any other Indian would justify Taliban, or in that case RSS too. And I think uh, both of the organizations work at uh, very similar parallels, and I think that comparison is absolutely valid. But the problem and contention that we have as Indian Muslims and uh, many others as Indian Muslims had is that uh, uh, there was there was this. Uh, element being enforced on us to condemn taliban as as if the rise of taliban is afghanistan is because of indian muslims in india i mean that's that's pretty absurd and i think that that doesn't uh, merit that, that 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 is something which we were vehemently against and still are against it we don't think that what happens in afghanistan or what happens in any other part of the world where an islamic uh, organization takes over the takes over the state or you know carry on brutalities or 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 carry carry out attacks indian muslims for that matters moderate muslims belonging to any other country should be held should be asked to condemn that we have never heard you know common hindus being asked to condemn uh, attack taking uh, 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 an incident of lynching or an, uh, or or similar hindutva terror attacks i mean so why is the onus on us time and again to time and again to condemn uh, attacks which are carried out by certain factions of islam uh, so so called islamic organizations so there there is where the problem we had uh, we had so i don't think there is a problem in comparison i don't think there is a problem in comparing rss with taliban i think that comparison is valid and i think both of the organizations both of both of the organization have a similar goal they ultimately want to paint color in the world of their own which is extremely problematic which is extremely problematic and which is uh, uh anti uh, democracy uh, against the values of uh, pluralism against the values of secularism against the values of women rights so i think that comparison is absolutely all right the problem and contention that we had is that muslims of india just because of the fact that someone from ai aipm uh, all india muslim personal law board 
had tweeted that uh, tweeted and maybe celebrated in the language i haven't seen that tweet yet and haven't uh, seen the kind, the kind of language used over there but then just because someone from aim all india muslim personal law board had tweeted that does not that does not put the onus on the entire muslim community of india to come out and say that you know we condemn taliban and taliban is and we have to do it and do it as muslims because taliban talibanis are also muslims and so we have to come out and uh you know so this is this is what our contention was otherwise i think i just some... i just want i just have one uh, inter- yeah. interlocution to make yeah yeah you know to say that moderate hindus or hindus uh, rational hindus are not expected to condemn the mm-hmm. rss mm-hmm. or hindutva i think is not right no, i think that, no no that, one that, minute i mean yeah. I, i i want to speak for myself here sure, as sure, a, sure. as a, as an independent person i think our the bane has been our complaint has been that unlike what happened say in the united states of america when trump mm-hmm. was first elected and you mm-hmm. had thousands and thousands of americans ordinary americans who do not subscribe to uh, america's foreign policies coming out and women coming out condemning what uh, donald trump mm-hmm. stood for there was no mm-hmm. such reaction in our country mm-hmm. from the middle of the road majority community when you saw not just uh, a certain force coming to power but you saw the mm. lynchings of mohammad akhlaq and after that so i think the exhortation right. has been there no one minute let me just finish i uh, of course allow you sure, to speak. Sure, sure, so sure. i'm saying we, we are living in a world unfortunately of extremely polarized identity politics it's not the it's not the chosen world i mean one i would much prefer a world where we talk about jobs where we talk about education where we talk about rationality but that's not the world we live in so unfortunately those born hindu are expected to say something those born muslim are expected to say something but anyway your point is well taken i just want to get to the next point do you want to say anything more sir yeah i think the expectation with muslims is that they uh, i mean muslims are expected to muslims are expected to criticize the uh, criticize the particular attack uh with with the tag of islam attached attached to themselves so you know that's that's absolutely all right if a muslim does something wrong we are duty bound to say that that's not done that's not done but then the element of islam attached to it when the when the element of religion is attached to it that's what that's what i uh, i meant when i said that you know hindus or christians are not expected to do that hindus are not expected to criticize hinduism or christians are not expected to criticize christianity it's just when when it comes to muslims muslims are expected to Uh, criticize i mean start uh, looking for loopholes within islam i'm not saying i'm not here to defend islam and i'm not well educated to defend islam i'm not a scholar of islam to defend islam but then i do think that every religion has problems every religion has problems when there is an intersection of religion and politics and islam is no exclusive exclu- exclusion to it so the pressure with the pressure on muslims to actually condemn and ask for reformation within within islam is a little different from uh, from uh, what the pressure is among secular hindus or secular christians uh, to condemn something uh, carried out by people of their faith so that's what i meant javed sahab i think it's important that you come like here to, i would like to Very i would like to that you need to come first of all yeah. i would i would like to respond to that you see lajja was published in uh, bangladesh and uh, according to that rule according to that scan indian muslim should not have reacted on that because lajja was published in bangladesh but they did uh, uh certain equerses was published in england and usa so indian muslim should not have reacted but they did because these to them according to them these books were misrepresenting islam and distorting the image of islam and insulting it and that is why they reacted not because it happened in england or uh, bangladesh or wherever because they love their religion and i'm sure that asad sahab also is uh, in spite of not knowing much about his religion must be in love with it uh, and uh, they cannot tolerate if anybody gives a distorted image of islam wherever on north pole or south pole now here are these people they are not ordinary people they are not just criminals they are doing it all on the name of your religion so if you love your religion which you do shouldn't you react and as a matter of fact it is not total silence there are two people from the board of uh, muslim personal law who gave up a statement appreciated that all right in a press conference not a tweet in a press conference okay now are you willing to oppose them 
do you feel like opposing them that listen you are humiliating islam by appreciating or accepting taliban it's a matter of your religion it is not the matter of politics it is somebody is giving a distorted image of your religion that whipping women on the roads is islam putting them inside the house not letting them uh, uh, get education or a job is islam the door should, window should be high enough that they should not be able to see outside the house that was the first taliban and we have no reason to believe that the second one is not the same you are not criticizing it and they are doing all this on the name of your religion you have to defend your religion don't you yeah uh, in the first place i mean i would not like to believe something i i i'm not in love with something madly or uh, fanatically without being well educated about it so i do not buy that arg- argument that i'm in love with something of which i do not understand very much but then i do associate with i i i have i have a certain knowledge of my religion and my the knowledge that i have of my religion is limited but then i do think that my religion as far as i understand does not advocate violence now coming to the coming to the second point that uh, uh, that ai that, that uh, two members of ai ai mplb all the members of the law board wrote something on twitter and uh, they represented no it actually it was a video at a press conference it was a no, video no, of no, a no, press no, conference no no, yeah. no no beside beside that you see that is not only these two persons the fact is the last time when they came into power you know how many people they killed and how they killed the president najib how, how they killed him not only that he killed him how they killed him and how they treated the women you know that so no. if if you can say that when when javed sahab is saying you is talking about the muslim person law yeah, that's, 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 that's okay, okay. i mean and no okay. and, and you too you that's too okay. that's okay that's okay that's okay you that's okay. yeah Actually, why why you don't say that your silence is agreement with them about islam about islam okay asad yeah, i just no, want no, to raise no no no, 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 no <laughs> the first place in the first place david sahab we have been very critical of taliban the, the day the day the day taliban came to power we did uh, we did right i mean wherever wherever was we? possible that is i mean Who people, are we? Like, people like me people where, like me, I'm, where, i'm here where? to i'm here to represent myself no I'm no david sahab david sahab just as you represented yourself uh, asad and others I'm, represented themselves they I'm participated right. so, let, they participated one minute so, there was also a demonstration held by groups in jantar mantar i'm just mentioning this in which afghan students participated what? and many no david sahab and many students from jamia and professional like asad also participated so the point is it may not have been seen as a muslim organization but there was a demonstration a pretty strong demonstration in delhi and not such a dem- such a strong demonstration in bombay mumbai and bangalore against what the taliban stands so i'm just putting this on record and yeah. i'm hap- very happy and i'm very happy to demonst- demonstrate in any 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 such uh, protest against taliban as long as it is not associated with uh, the religion i mean as long as we are asked to condemn taliban as rational thing people as people who believe in diversity as ethos of secularism pluralism so we would do that but then the pressure the pressure the pressure on us to do it as muslims as believers of islam is just not acceptable and i think and i think people who <laughs> did people people who did from aim plb i i don't think they are representatives of islam i think if aib will be uh, um, uh, did, uh, and and the, the organization also did not uh, uh, did not confirm to their tweets the, the organization said in the letter later at, later that we do not adhere to the same line and it's uh, it might be their personal opinion i want to step back a bit to another point that was made earlier by mr javed by mr javed akhtar that when you had the uh, book coming out satanic verses and when you had mm-hmm. the book lajja coming out uh of for, for instance the cartoon uh, of the uh, on the prophet you had very strong reactions from the muslim community here the cartoon from the prophet was possibly very understandable because it was a religious issue but lajja was a fiction lajja was a piece of fiction and satanic verses was a kind of piece of fiction however uh, reprehensible it might seem to many believing muslims but the, the call was for a ban okay the call was for a ban now for, i'm talking about way back i said you were probably in school yeah, then yeah, but yeah. but i'm just telling you that at that point we took a position in communalism combat which is a magazine that was launched in 1993 that regardless of what you feel is the content of the book there has to be a freedom to dissent unless there is a call to violence okay and however distasteful we find the book just like i remember christians finding 
uh, Jesus Christ superstar problematic. The far right Christian still does find many things problematic. You can demonstrate, you can silently demonstrate, but to ask for a ban immediately narrows that mean rational space in any society. That's Absol that's yeah. Absolutely agree with you on that. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. I no. think uh, these 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 uh, demands to ban books and demands to and 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 uh, statements such as cuts cut the neck of people who said this and said that are absurd. I think uh, any modern uh, modern any Muslim with uh, a little modern outlook and understanding of. Uh, uh, understanding of free speech and expression would not do that. I think things have changed from there on. Tisadi. We also need to understand that. And I've been saying that very regularly. The new Muslim that you see, the new Muslim in the sense that, I mean, the new generation of Indian Muslims that you see today is a little different from that in the past. It's more, it's, I, as far as I understand, its priorities are more oriented towards constitutional values and, and promises that have been made to them. It demands equal representation in parliament. It demands a uh, job for, it, for themselves. It demands their social upliftment. It demands their economic upliftment. As far as what happened in the past and, uh, and the incidents that you're referring to are absolutely condemnable. And I think I would always uh, join, uh, hand, join ranks with people who actually did uh, support uh, Salman Rushdie's uh, uh, book uh, to, be, to be there, to exist. I mean, why not? I mean, I think uh, we should have an we should have an intellectual debate in the book rather than assembling like uh, 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 assembling at a place and calling for violence against Salman Rushdie or the ban of the book. But that's not one side. I mean, something similar happened with the riddles of uh, Hinduism. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, when the book was being published, 1988. By, uh, 1988. When the, when the book was being published by uh, by by the government of Maharashtra in 1988. It continues to be published. It continues it, it, to be published. It, 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 it continues to be published. But then there was large scale outcry in Mumbai again, and and then Bombay against uh, the government, and they wanted the book to be banned. Sorry, and, uh, uh, just a, just a second. Sorry. Yeah, and yeah. Should, please. I think we are totally going away from the topic. Yeah. Let's come back to the topic. Uh, like uh, Asad Saab has some problem of my being Muslim, am I a Muslim, I am not a Muslim, because I have always said that I am an atheist. And I maintain that I am an atheist. Once Shahabuddin Saab met me and he was quite outraged, I said, what did you do? He said, you have said that you are not a Muslim. I said, I have never in my life I have said that I am not a Muslim. So he said, I have read your interview and you have said that you are an atheist. Yes, I have said that. So what do you mean by that? I said, I'm a Muslim atheist. So what is that? You see, I am from a community. My socio-political fate is in, totally entangled and uh, uh, with the community. It will remain with the community if I change it. But I don't share the religious belief of my community. That's about all. And as a matter of fact, in, in my community, most of the people don't share most of the people's religious beliefs. And they keep on saying he, he, this person is not a Muslim and that community is not Muslim and that firqa is not a Muslim. So while you have 37, make it 38. What does it mean? I am an atheist Muslim. Politically, socially, I am a Muslim. I have no choice. I'm not only what I think I am. I'm also what others think. Tomorrow, if somebody like Mr. Shahabuddin gives a speech, outrageous speech, and that causes a riot, you think I'll be safe? If I'll be safe, then yes, I'm not a Muslim. So I share your political, social fortune, your destiny. And that is why I'm Muslim. The, 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 the problem here is, Asad, that yeah. uh, uh, Javed Saab is a self-professed atheist. He has also said that he's a cultural Muslim and also a Muslim by social, like he just said about social political fortunes that he shares with other Muslims in this country. So is there a problem that you have with somebody who's an atheist and a Muslim? I'm asking a question. And secondly, I don't think Javed Akhtar can be really accused of appropriation of leadership. Okay. He's a, he's a celebrity. He's a well-renowned lighter and commentator. So people will go to him. People will ask comments of him and he will make those comments. If those comments uh, are acceptable, like they were acceptable after Gujarat 2002, I remember there were lots of accolades, then it's one thing. But if there are these kind of comments, they may be half acceptable, half not. It, is the problem lie in the fact that he's a self-professed atheist and he also claimed that he's a social political cultural Muslim? 
absolutely not. I mean, self, being a self-professed atheist is absolutely okay. But the point that I was just trying to make in that uh, comment which I had put on Facebook is that uh, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I, and, I, and first let me come to this. I mean, I think uh, when we when we denounce uh, re- culture is a part. Culture comes out of the religious practices and traditions. That's I mean, I think I, as far as I understand, that's what my understanding is. And, uh, and 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 as soon as we give give up on our religion, or as soon as we declare ourselves as atheists, I mean, that's what the problem with uh, a lot. That's what, that's where a lot of criticism of the Hindu left is. There are a lot of people who claim to be atheists are still Brahmanical in nature. So I think culture is an important part that we should talk about. And uh, the moment we the moment we say that we are not, we do not belong to we do not belong to a particular faith. I mean, the cu- culture and faith cannot be looked very separately. It uh, the culture flows from. But there. but I mean, but if, surely if, if that's not, a choice of if, a person. If, if, no, if, if that's not, that's if, surely an individual choice. As that for you, culture mm-hmm. and religion might be intertwined. But for somebody, mm-hmm. it may not be. Maybe maybe sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Maybe. Are you suggesting that my culture, I who belong to Lucknow, and a culture of a Saudi same, or culture of a Saudi and a culture of uh, Uzbek is the same? Absolutely, absolutely not. But, but absolutely uh, not. But culture, there are some... culture, culture of a Arab woman and a Turkish woman the same? No, absolutely not. Arab? But then the cult, but then, but the, but then that culture that you're talking about is again represent is again coming out of a certain representation of Islam or the religion that is practiced. In no, that, no, as no, I think as sorry. one minute, uh, one minute. As a as a student of history and politics, culture mm-hmm. is something which comes out of topography, geography, uh, a whole lot of factors which are outside religious faith, as that. I mean, so yes, let's not get into an anthropolog- anthropological yes, yes, debate. Yes, yes, you yes. may believe. No, you may believe. I accept that you may believe that religion and culture are intertwined. I accept that. But mm. I don't think that that can be an objective position that is acceptable to all. Because I think mm. there are many cultural practices that we all live with, which, are, which, which may remain despite our getting distance from a particular religion. And saying that we are distant from a religion, agnostic or atheist. But anyway, I think mm-hmm. let's not get stuck on this. I feel that there's another important issue that you made because of a certain important uh, two points that uh, before Javed Sam might want to come in on anything else, Asad might want to come in with. Yeah. That you mentioned that erstwhile Congress regimes and dispensations. Yeah. Okay, and I think this is very yeah. important. Yeah. That erstwhile con- uh, Congress dispensations where certain sections of the clergy enjoyed patronage. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what you said. Whereas there were hundreds of others who were moderate and wanted reform, who were not given patronage. And mm-hmm. somebody like Javed Akhtar benefited from that patron. Now, I think right. that is an issue that needs to be thrown upon to debate because right. it's, it's hugely uh, questionable whether that allegation can hold. So mm-hmm. I like uh, Javed Saab because that's you know, a public comment to Javed Saab to come in on that. And uh, mm-hmm. then, of course, you must also uh, weigh in with what you said. Yeah. Javed yeah. Saab. You see, uh, he has used three language. Did mm-hmm. they ever question their masters? Who are my masters? <laughs> the, who the, do you think is my master? No, 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 the political patronage that who the, the, the people who give pop political the politi- patronage. To, they have. I don't have any political career, so I do any. Where do I? No, but then the you, have been a mem- you have been a member of Rajya Sabha, so you have a political. Oh, what membership of Rajya Sabha could <laughs> offer me, but I do, which I don't didn't have anyway. What? Yeah, let, let's 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 have your comment first, and then I'll. Get you it. think you yeah, think yeah. that <laughs> maybe it is let's, something very very. I, and, 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 and I'd like to interrupt you there, Javed Sir. I mean, I might have my choice of words might have been a little harsh, and and I think I uh, I am a little I I regret uh, the choice of words there in that comment. So so I will. Uh, I, like I'll read that, out. I like to say I like to say it, but I, publicly, I think I should should have been more careful with my words and should not have. So that words. that's very good of you because David Sab, let's that's take right. it at that that's because right. yeah. Yusuf but, 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 Saab. Uh, no, I want to just uh, mention that Yusuf Saab, Dilip Kumar, Sachin Tendulkar, hmm. uh, you know Hema Malini. Oh, Hema Malini is not a good example because she's a political party representative. But Yusuf Saab, Sachin Tendulkar, they've all enjoyed Rajya Sabha seats. Uh, you, I can give you many other names, Shubhan Azbi, Kuldeep Nayar. They've all enjoyed these independent Rajya Sabha seats. And I want to just make a point of order here that if people of certain stature are given representation uh, in the in the Rajya Sabha right from the first time, there's a certain principle behind it. I'm interested what in the you? word chameleon because I, I would like to know what you call like a chameleon in Javed Akhtar because I think my viewers would like to know. 
that where do you find someone like Javed Akhtar, a chameleon in what he stands for in terms of secular principle? Because we are talking mm-hmm. about secularism here. We are not talking about uh, neoliberal uh, policies or economics yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I think Javed, I think Javed Akhtar Sahib has uh, recently been praiseful of uh, Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre and Shiv Sena. And we know how what what a dark past uh, Mahara, uh, Udav, Udav's father Bal Thakre had. He was no less than a Hindu Taliban. So I think praising praising Uddhav Thakre is uh, is is somewhere legitimizing the entire clan, clan of Shiv Sena and uh, uh, people of the likes of Bal Thakre who were directly responsible for the massacre of Muslims in 1992. I mean, Tistaji, you have worked a lot in 1992, post-1992. You, were, you decided to quit journalism and decided to get into full-time activism. And you would, who would know better than you that what Shiv Sena's role was that and uh, was uh, uh, what role did Shiv, Shiv Sena play in that violence? So I, I don't said that. So that's what I meant. That's what I meant. And uh, the, uh, I, the, the role of the Shiv Sena in 1992-93, the publication of the Shri Krishna Commission report, everything mm-hmm. that we did and we continue to do today is something we stand by. So there's no question right. of that. But I also believe that circumstances changes people. Okay, And I'm making this statement mm-hmm. with responsibility mm-hmm. since you're addressing mm-hmm. me. I want mm-hmm. Javed Sab to also come, okay, but it's my, mm-hmm. it's my channel. I mean, it's my mm-hmm. viewers also. I right. do believe that. Uh, the dispensation of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi under Mr. Thakre is somewhat different. I don't know whether fundamentally how long they will remain this way. But I'll give you an example. Mm. After the COVID pandemic outbreak in 2020, and Maharashtra was semi-reeling under the previous government's extremely divisive policies in, in the state and of course nationally, you found healing voices coming from the chief minister when, I'll give you an example, many Muslims, many Muslims in Pune and Western Maharashtra and Mumbai stretch themselves out to give their madarsas and masjids for corona quarantine centers. I'm giving you an example because this is the time Delhi and the national media, you were talking about corona jihad, you know. But in my state, in our state in Maharashtra, you had Mr. Thakare openly thanking the Maharashtra Muslim community for its services to the wider community by allowing all their spaces to be open for quarantine. Is it, is it a fundamental change? Let's wait and watch. But I do believe we have seen a significant shift because you mentioned me, I came in. But Javed yeah. over to you. Yeah. In 46-47, all of us know that the majority of Indian Muslims were pro-Muslim League and pro-partition. Uh, so shall we hold today's Muslim who is perhaps 40 years old or 30 years old for that, responsible for that? No. With time, people change. Generation gain. The fact is that the moment you'll be surprised that you ask an average Maharashtrian Muslim, you ask a Muslim in Mumbai, he'll say that we are he's very happy with this government. It is a fact. So uh, the first thing is that as far as we believe in, uh, we are talking about change and organizations changing and its principles changing. Well, I don't believe that ideologically an organization can change. And I think the problem is, with, is, is at the core of Shiv Sena's ideology, which is very, uh, very regional centric and very, uh, and, and, and very, uh, so, you know, should we, should we, should we also believe that Taliban is willing to change because Taliban has been uh, saying that it's different from what it was 20 years ago. And a lot of uh, political commentators across uh, the globe has been saying that over the, tw- over the past 20 years, Taliban has changed. They've become politically mature. They're using a politically mature language. They are not the same Taliban that was there 20 years ago. Well, I would not like to accept that. And I would not like to believe that Taliban has changed. I think Taliban is an ideology, is a, ideology is a dangerous ideology. And there might it, there there is a possibility that Taliban would like to be politically a bit more correct because the fact that they want to have the relationship with international community with, with different countries and they would want to, to be made more stream now. But at the core, Taliban is going to remain Tali- Taliban in its ideology. That will not change. What Javed Sab himself said that you said that he praised Narendra Modi and that he's a chameleon. I just wanted to understand that because I, I, it's important I think, for our viewers that no, no, what I, you felt, and we respect no, no, both of you. We I, respect I think, both. I think I, I think I've already uh, I have already uh, expressed my regret for the language that I used there. So and I stand by it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure this video is going to be watched by people. So I I think my language was a bit harsh, and I that was not justified. So I expect express my regret for that. Do you yeah. regret this accusation also that I praised Mr. Modi? 
Oh uh, well, well, well. I think uh, uh, Shiv Sena. I do not look at Shiv Sena and uh, Mr. Modi as two different entities. I think they were very active partners. Uh, and, I would yeah. rather put it differently and say that if you were to take the barometer from how Maharashtrian Muslims are feeling today, their mm -hmm. sense of physical security, emotional security, economic and social spaces that they enjoy, unlike the kind of lynchings that are happening, the Social economic boycotts that are happening in Western UP, bordering the capital where you live, bordering the capital where there's Noida or Greater Noida or Ghaziabad, where even mm -hmm. the chief minister's mandate, Arvind Kejriwal's mandate, doesn't hold. I feel the real mandate for me, who works with the community, and I don't press, uh, uh, pretend to represent anybody, but I work closely with the Muslim minority community as I work with other communities, is that they feel a sense of relief and a sense of security under this government. And I believe that it's, it, I should at least respect that. I cannot say that I rubbish away how it, maybe 70-80% of Maharashtrian Muslims are feeling today. I just want to mention that when the December 15th, 2019, when that brutal attack on Jamia took place by the Delhi police, the chief minister of Maharashtra likened it to Jalyan Walabak. Yeah. For me, the change would happen the day if Shiv Sena would say that we are backtracking from our core ideology which is very chauvinist, which is regional, and we are becoming a mainstream secular party. We are rewriting our constitution. I think that will be the day when Shiv Sina will change. Javid Saab and Asad Bhai, I want two, two more questions answered because I, for me, this is very core to understanding the current debate, who represents uh, the, the Muslims, moderate or conservative. Asad, you said that in the, in the, in the, in the erstwhile uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, dispensations run by the Congress mostly, or secular parties, uh, that though they picked and chose certain clerics who maybe were uh, regressive or whatever, there were mm -hmm. hundreds others who pushed for reform, mm -hmm. who pushed for progress, who pushed for social economic uh, this thing, but who were not heard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I want to understand uh, where this is coming from, because I'll tell you, there has been mm -hmm. a feeling consistently between the Dalit community and the Muslim community that secular parties have not engaged with the emerging middle class intellectual from either the Dalit community or the Muslim community and prefer to kind of stick to the quote unquote more traditional centers. But to say that only the clergy was whom the secular party engaged with, is that a truism? I'm not no, sure. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. I, I, yeah. I did not say that it's only the clergy that the secular party is engaged with. I said that, you know, they are engaging with uh, two kind of, uh, uh, within the Muslim community, they're engaging with two, two sections. One is the clergy, which is represented by the kind of Buha with, the, with, 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 with people like Bukharis, who, have been, who we have been very critical of and will remain to be with. You actually dubbed I, Bukharis and Javed Akhtar in the same breath. No, 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 no. I said that they are categorically different from each other. I said that one is one one segment of his, one segment is represented by Bukhari. The other segment is represented by Buh Javed Akhtar Saab. Now, when I say Javed Akhtar Saab, it does not mean Javed Akhtar as an individual. I mean to say that people who are in a position similar to Javed Akhtar Sahab, people who enjoy a privilege, people who, people who enjoy privileges similar to Javed Akhtar Sahab. So I do not mean to target him indig individually here. Now the now now the problem here is that there have always been a uh, a section of middle class among Muslims, as you say, and as you said, and you also mentioned that a section of middle class among Dalits which has uh, a lot of aspirations and which is very ambitious and which uh, which which which, which uh, looks at the constitution as a document which can fulfill those ambitions the the erstwhile secular parties did not bother to engage with them and i would stand by that by that by that comment and i think that you know uh, i the, today also when the Cong when the congress party is in opposition and it's 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 the, it's the brink of losing all that it has it had at a point of time it is not willing to listen. It's not willing to engage with common Muslim middle class. You say we are privileged. What privilege we have? I was just about to say what that, privilege. That somebody, that somebody like me for being an artist, being a writer, being a poet was sent to uh, Rajya Sabha. What did Rajya Sabha give, give me? As a matter of fact, at least in my time, it was no profit, no gain. In, when Shabana... <laughs> was in Rajya Sabha, her salary was 18,000 and her security people were getting 20,000. We were paying 20,000 to security. Her security because she was given a house. 
we are not there we are not professional politician we will never join a politics the fact if at all i have a relationship with congress my relationship is through my family that my uncle was in jail for 10 years in different jails he was the youngest member of congress central committee on 14th of august he came out of calcutta jail that is my relationship with congress that is all otherwise uh, they would have never allowed me to speak against muslim personal law the way i do and this is an ambiguous asad saab you have a very ambiguous positioning you are opposing ostensibly you are opposing the liberal you are opposing the conservative but you are very cleverly trying to maintain the status quo no, you are no, not interested no, that is no, what you are doing not really, that is not what you do not really not otherwise, really otherwise yeah otherwise you would have come to people like me and you would have said that please use your cement dilute your cement you should not say this like this you are right but please say it like that you would have joined us You would have been on our side. <laughs> I am already very cleverly. <laughs> Achha, very I just cleverly want to. <laughs> I'm already. Down. All, I want to yeah. say, let's not make, take it more personal. It is personal, yeah. but let's not make it so personal. I want to yeah. say one thing. Asad has been very involved with the student movement post the CAA uh, 2019 amendment, the Shine Bag agitation, the mobilization, the youngsters, not just Muslim youngsters, all of them. So I think that it's not. I let. I really would urge. He's running a very nice cafe just now. I'm told. I've not visited it, but I've heard a lot about that cafe. So I think uh, the point is, I said. I just want to say one thing. I think David Sab is possibly, uh, understandably agitated because yours was a public comment. So I, yeah, I, I, I grant him that. I grant him that. No, but I do. Okay. I, I do want to say that you see, the problem lies in confusing the issues. David mm-hmm. Akhtar is who he is. He enjoys mm-hmm. a stature which is of his own making. Mm-hmm. and he also has a certain clarity of way of seeing and speaking on certain issues and he's done that for 30 years 35 years okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh i mean uh, uh and we, you may appreciate every comment find problems with it and that's part of uh, debate and all right but i don't see why a comment by javed akhtar on an issue like say the taliban just now or anything else in the past uh, should be seen in such a emotionally negative way that it seems like appropriation or an atheist mm. muslim speaking or whatever that i feel is the root of the problem you know no, no, yeah. Yeah. as long yeah. as long as long as the problem that i have or the problem that people <laughs> who are my friends mm. have is that the the condemnation which came against uh, for, ta- for for the taliban's uh, you know capture of power was done uh, in the position of a muslim and that's where the problem for us is I mean, not I as an indian could, you said not yes, as an indian right. we, we could have done it as an indian we could have done as people who believe in secularism we could have done in, done as people who believe in uh, uh, believe against such brutal regimes so i think there was uh, this was uncalled for i think there was no need to involve uh, the muslim question into it or the islamic question into it and i think that's where the problem we had uh, otherwise uh, as indians uh, you send me thousands of letters to condemn taliban or anyone else sends me thousands of letters to condemn taliban i'll do that time and again because i principally believe that taliban is not a solution taliban or rss or similar organizations are never going to be a solution because we believe in pluralism we believe in democracy we believe in we believe in uh, ethos of secularism we would never want taliban to be there taliban to be a major force any in any part of the world well, i see that we are back full circle to the beginning of the debate that no, no. should should muslims I, con- uh, do I, muslims need to condemn the taliban do indians need to condemn the taliban do hindus need to condemn hindutva etc etc yeah jab sir may may i yeah of course here is here is here is a quote that was on september 10 every decent person every democratic government every civilized society in the world should refuse to recognize and condemn taliban for their ruthless oppression of afghan women or let's forget the words like justice humanity and conscience what makes you think that i am saying it as not as an indian but as a muslim 
Yeah, the platform that pla- I mean, I do not want to get personal here, but uh, I think. No, no, please go ahead. Most welcome. Yeah, most yeah, most yeah, yeah. It was. I have no from, problem. It it was issued from a platform that calls itself the Indian Muslim Secular Democracy. So I think uh, that. No, 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 no. No, no. This was his tweet. This is his tweet. This is my personal tweet. This is my personal. I missed. I might. There was a before August twenty fourth. That's that's all right. Absolutely, absolutely. Your condemnation of Taliban is absolutely justified. I mean, no one has problems with that. No one has problems. No, no, that. no, no. But you are blaming me that I am condemning uh, Taliban as a Muslim, not as an Indian. I mean, I don't understand the meaning of it. I'll, yeah. My second, it is yeah. another, another tweet that, that you can check. I'm referring the to the statement that was released. Yeah, the spokesman of Taliban uh, has told the world that women aren't meant to be ministers, but to stay at home and bear children. But The so-called civilized and democratic countries of the world are willing to shake Taliban here. Yeah. What a shame! We need to wind up now, so I think we give two or three minutes to both speakers. Javed sir, look, simple thing is that when your so-called representative organizations are there, they give a few people a statement, and they keep quiet. So you have to oppose them. You have to say that this is wrong. Besides that, you have to say that this is wrong. Besides that, It is for me to decide whether there is any need to condemn or not. Nobody else can do that. You have problem with Muslim secularists. You don't have any problem with Hindu secularists. You love them. The question is that if Tista would ask somebody, that what do you say about whatever has happened? There? You won't have any problem. But if I, I ask somebody or Javed Anand ask somebody, what is your position on this? You say, why are you asking them? Why not? I have the. You have the right to criticize me, and I have the right to ask Muslim Patel Law Board, what is your position? But That's I do okay. feel that one thing that Javed Sabs uh, 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 and Asad's desire to have this debate stems from the fact that certain issues needed to be talked about. I also believe that there is a certain intemperateness in kind of immediately jumping to conclusions about people and saying that why they issuing statements, etc. Uh, and i think asad has accepted that it was intemperate and he withdrew the facebook post he believes still that as muslims we don't need to condemn uh, taliban right. or any terror attack i think that's up for grabs i think anybody has a right to condemn whatever they feel that is wrong more than anything else i feel identity politics continues to haunt us and rule us i wish it didn't i wish it didn't i wish it didn't i wish identity politics was not the marker for who i am who you are but it has become that so given that maybe there is a reason behind this as well but in any case if organizations are forms individuals speak celebrity who reach their stature by dint of hard work make statements and get the publicity for it i think we can counter it but let's just do it in a way that encourages debate and dialogue and let's not get personal javed sir i think we need to end it here i just want to end by saying that let's not label people for the stands they take without seeing exactly what the content of that stand is thank you very very much i think it's been a very engaging discussion and uh, asad javed sir thank you for your patience thank you so much thank you so much